Among Us is a multiplayer mystery game. Those who played the infamous Mafia Party game may find Among Us familiar. Inner Sloth wanted to adapt this game for mobile devices to play locally with friends. It was first launched with a single map and only the ability to play the game with those around you. Many at Inner Sloth wondered if the game was a flop, but kept it going for its small but dedicated fans. This led to adding online multiplayer, new tasks, and more features to make the game more expansive. Inner Sloth released Among Us for Android and iOS in July 2018, and it quickly came to Steam that August. The game was enough of a success for Inner Sloth to improve upon it with various updates for the past two years. But Among Us remained a somewhat unknown gem until recently. While Among Us is quick to throw players into the action, it offers very little to explain its story. Imagination can fill in a few gaps, but players have some details to make assumptions about. Eventually, new maps came to the game for a low price of $4. However, that turned free later on when mid-2020 saw a meteoric rise of the game's popularity and player base due to the COVID-19 pandemic and some gaming influencers promoting the game and creating content out of it. 2018 In August 2018, a PC version was released through itch.io. It also added online play and overhauled the netcode for much greater reliability. A lot of features were added this month. It included in-game chat to the discussion UI, Discord integration for gamers for PC only, version locking, but it requires the newest version of Among Us to play online, text that pops up on the left side when someone leaves the game, a new intro screen, improved graphics quality in full screen for PC only, and miscellaneous bugs and improvements. In September, it added an online game finder for public games as well as sound effects, but is still disabled for mobile players. It also added UI redesign and lobby chat. The online screen remembers the last used game code until players quit and allows them to pick between short, normal, and long kill distance using the lobby computer. New features also include an added ban menu for hosts and new sound effects. This time, doors can no longer be closed after sabotage has started, and sabotages can't be started with doors closed. 2019 2019 brought small changes with it. It added a 5-minute ban to players who leave games or close the app in the middle of a game. This time, imposters can use the medbay scanner. Common tasks are intended to give imposters a single place to expect all players to pass through. The shared animation unfortunately gave crewmates a strong means to ensure certain players were not the imposter. While there are aggressive imposter strategies to combat this, knowing 100% who is or who is not the imposter is not a mechanic we think is in the spirit of the game. By March, translation into Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, and Russian is mostly complete but hasn't been added to the game yet. By April, voting notifications had been added to chat and improved chat name filters, allowing players to vote to kick during games. 2020 In 2020, a lot of issues were fixed, including certain vents enterable through walls on Polis, looped kill animation, connectivity issues, and in-game store stability. A rough Russian translation was added in May. Filipino and Polish language filters were added as well by September. In November, the anonymous voting option was added. 2021 March 2021 brought several changes. It added quick chat and a new chat font. It also changed the interface button system. Some interface buttons now highlight when hovering over slash pressing on. It also added the quick chat feature, an easier, faster, and safer way to play the game using text-based chat. This time, the age gate was reduced to 13. Changes in May allowed Twitch mobile streaming. This update will enable players to start streaming Among Us on Twitch straight from their mobile devices. Discord mobile invites were added as well. Players can now link their Discord account to the app on mobile and then share a room code invite by pressing the Discord button next to the private slash public button in the room lobby. November brought about considerable changes to the game. There are four new roles where players enter a new level of deception with the scientists, engineer, guardian angel, and shapeshifter roles. 
There are also new customizations like visor cosmetics, nameplates, and additional hats, skins, and pets. 2022 2022 introduced major changes. The new feature includes a friends list where players can send and receive friend requests, invite people to their lobby, and see who they recently played with. A streamer mode was added in June 2022. Colorblind settings were also added, whereas when active, the names of the colors will appear next to the players during meetings and below the player during gameplay. Have you played Among Us? What do you like best about it? Let us know in the comments section below. So how does this game work exactly? Among Us players are dropped into the roles of crew members on board a spaceship, skybase, or alien planet. They must complete various tasks, acting as maintenance workers around the ship to ensure their safety and success. The skybase is known as Mira HQ. Players can assume, therefore, that the crew members work for an organization called Mira. The spaceship, or the Skell, is equipped with various facilities that imply long-distance travel, like the cafeteria. The third level, Polis, is an alien planet that seems to be the foreign destination of the Skeld when not headed to Mira, as both it and Mira contain laboratories for crewmate research. Among Us fan theories have circulated that Polis opens the door to some crossover canon with a previous Inner Sloth game as well, although for now, it's purely speculative. The three maps implications seem to draw similarities between the 1979 film Alien and that isn't where the similarities end. Including a weapons room in two of Among Us maps insinuates Mira anticipates danger on its missions. Crew members will find their cosmetic research attempts thwarted and their lives at risk by beings known as imposters, who sabotage crew members' work to claim the whole operation for themselves. If a crew member ends up alone in a room with an imposter, they risk suffering terrible fates of mutilation. Not much is known about the imposters, other than that they are enemies of the Mira employees, but other players who control the imposters have access to vents, while crew members do not. It's then possible that the imposters can shapeshift, offering them this unique mode of mobility and camouflage. Regardless, they have infiltrated the Mira operation and are out for blood. When suspicion arises, a crew member finds a dead body or witnesses a crime, they have the opportunity to call an emergency meeting. At this point, players can use the Among Us in-game chat to communicate about what has happened. However, the imposters are part of the conversation and are also identical to crew members and they must be caught red-handed to be proven guilty. Have the imposters learned the crew members' language or are they parasitic monsters that inhabit the brains of unfortunate hosts? Players have to keep an eye out for any sus activity if they don't want to accidentally send their compatriots out into the cold. While most of the Among Us plot is still up in the air, players can hope Inner Sloth will bring more light into the questions at hand with updates. Since the Among Us launch, character customization options like hats and pets have been added, though they do little to advance the story. Inner Sloth had initially planned for an Among Us sequel, but it has since abandoned the idea to incorporate new features into the original game. With the current game giving off similar vibes to movies like Alien and The Thing already, there is surely more exciting content that Among Us will bring to the players in the future. The game has been building a small yet loyal following for more than two years before it shot into the spotlight thanks to Twitch streamers, said Randy Nielsen, head of Mobile Insights at Sensor Tower. Its success was really born out of that platform more than traditional social media, which is where most viral app hits find their launch pads. Adoption of the game grew from there due to the low cost of the game and the simplicity of its gameplay. Although users must complete tasks, these actions are easy to perform and doable by anyone who knows how to use a touchscreen or operate a mouse and keyboard. Make sure to visit Evolution Zone and watch our other videos.